Okay. So my partner has positive antibodies in his sperm. What can we do to optimize fertility? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. Okay. So my partner has positive antibodies in his sperm. What can we do to optimize fertility? You know, as we, we typically focus on female factor infertility with low AMH and high FSH, premature ovarian insufficiency or failure and diminished ovarian reserve. But with, with fertility being now 50, 50, we are more and more seeing the female factor infertility as well as a male factor issues going on. And so it's important for both partners to, even if he said, even if his sperm is fine, especially when it's not, there's always things we can do to optimize his preconception health. So as far as antibodies in the sperm, um, what are you seeing there, Dr. Tabitha? Yes. Yeah, so there is not a lot of research that has helped us understand why these antibodies are created. But what we do know is anytime your body makes antibodies against your own tissue, your own self, that it's an autoimmune process going on. There's something dysfunctional driving this inflammation and this attack on your own tissue. And for this man, it's on his sperm production. That's still his own tissue. And so I would address that any way I would address any autoimmune disease, whether it be Hashimoto's, celiac, lupus, you name it. We need to calm down systemic inflammation, get rid of the triggers, which are often food sensitivities, um, heavy metal burdens, things like that. So if you can remove the triggers, calm down the inflammation, heal the gut, get your gut microbiome checked, heal that leaky gut. We often can get those antibodies to stop being produced because the immune system's no longer confused and irritated and upset, and it's no longer attacking our own tissue. So it's really important for someone who has this issue to get control of their gut health, their, you know, check into their diet and their lifestyle, because there are so many ways that you can improve this. And the cool thing is that sperm are made all the time. So this is very much a controllable, potentially reversible situation in my eyes. Absolutely. Very empowering. And so with, yeah, with autoimmune disease, the, the functional approach is, is the approach. It's not about medication and medication may, you know, may be part of it, but it's addressing those underlying factors. Definitely check out the episode with Dr. Tracy Gaffin. He's a urologist. I've done a couple episodes with him and we do like a deep dive on male factor uh, fertility issues. Definitely check that out. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to fab fertile Inc on Instagram, send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's fab fertile Inc and send me a DM and please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.